Welcome to the video everybody. Today is probably the best day of the year for me. It's the 10,000 calorie challenge. I'm going to try and eat 10,000 calories in food. That means uh, none of my calories can come from liquids. I'm going to use my fitness pal to track all of the food that I eat throughout the day. Um, I've decided that I couldn't do this challenge just for the sake of doing it. I am doing it for charity. I'm doing it for Crohn's and Colitis UK. Um, I've already raised almost £200 with all of the donations coming from friends and family and co-workers. And I'm really, really grateful for everyone and all of their donations. So it's about 9 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. So let's get breakfast started. Oh, I can't wait for this day. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. So this is meal number one. It looks massive, but it's like 3,000 calories or something. I have calculated rough estimates the day before, so this should be around 2,500, 3,000 calories. But um, I've weighed everything as I've cooked it. I'm not showing you that, because that's, that's so boring. So let's get into eating this. Um, also, I weighed myself this morning, and I was like 13 stone three-ish, so let's see what I weigh later on, just for more fun. But yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. Oh yeah, sausage. Like I said before, liquid calories don't count, so my coffee, uh, any sugary drinks that I have later on. It's not a ghost, it's not a ghost. It's just a little cat. It's, it's not a ghost, don't worry. So liquid calories don't count. And I know you saw me use maple syrup, but that has now solidified on the bacon and is therefore not a liquid anymore. So it's getting cold, let's try and eat this. really really easily. I actually put in the calculator that I had half the amount of sausages but they're so small and yummy and why not add them in? So people have been a bit concerned about me doing this not just because 10,000 calories is an excessive amount of food but because I have an ileostomy bag uh, which I have had for 10 years now. Now because I've had it for 10 years I'm pretty pretty good at knowing which foods I can and can't eat but this challenge is something very very new to me and I have a feeling that having the bag is not going to be a benefit or a detriment to being able to do the challenge so I really think this today is going to be doable and I'm not going to let everyone down who has given money I'm not going to let myself down I'm not going to let the food down I'm not going to let the cat down
almost at the end. And one second. Got a lot of peanut butter in my mouth. Yeah, there's Nutella and peanut butter on like in, in between each of the waffles. I asked people, because this is supposed to be a Christmas theme, I asked people like, what's a Christmas breakfast? And lots of people like bacon sandwich and just, you know, <laughs> a, a box of chocolates, you know, like weird stuff that they have at Christmas time. And so I just thought, you know what? What do I want to eat for Christmas? What would I think that would be a really good treat? So I picked this. What do you think this is called? What would you call this? Comment below what you think this meal should be called. It was waffles, Nutella, peanut butter with maple glazed bacon and sausages. It could be called the stack of beets, like die beets. Maybe. I'm allowed to say that joke because my brother and my dad have type 1 diabetes. So, before the internet gets hating me. So that's meal one down. I'm a little bit messy. Got food in my teeth. I didn't really need a knife and fork. That was extra washing up for me now. So yeah, I'll try and calculate how much this was and maybe put it on the screen or across the bottom but I really really enjoyed that oh I really enjoyed it right, I'm gonna clean myself up and then we'll well I'll see you in the next meal or maybe I'll go to the gym beforehand to burn some of this like sugar rush that I've got off I've really got a big sugar rush right now oh my join the cat and just run around the house so that went well um, really, really hyper, all the sugar feels like it's in my brain. I think I've still got some food in my beard. Um, I'll slowly munch on that throughout the day. No, I'm kidding, I'm just gonna wash my face. But I'm gonna go to the gym now, so yeah, I'm gonna get changed and go to the gym. I don't have chalk with the trainer, Mike. Uh, he let me his, he let me go to his car and get out for him. That's the kind of gym that you want, that's the kind of gym that you need somewhere where you go and people actually help you. kg according to my program on deadlift so I got three sets of five and then I'm wrapped set so I'm gonna bash through those so I'm feeling really warm and the sugar from my breakfast is really helping but I think it's just making my heart race so being here is a really really good idea music's terrible weather is awful and I'm coming to the local town centre and I'm gonna to go to Greg's and pick up some festive stuff okay so I had to wait for the festive bakes to be made so I've got two sausage rolls two absolutely boiling hot festive bakes and then I've got a Christmas tree biscuit and a Christmas pudding biscuit I'm gonna eat the two sausage rolls now um, because they're they're getting cold and then I'm gonna drive to my friend's house who lives on the top of a hill 
and we're gonna go for take his massive dog for a walk. So I'm gonna eat these and then I'm gonna set off. Okay, so the plans changed. I've just got in touch with my friend, and he's fixing his his car, so he can't take his dog out and stuff. So I don't want to go home, so I'm just going to go somewhere else and go for a walk because I want to walk off some of the calories. So I've eaten those two sausage rolls and a biscuit. I've got some more stuff to eat. They're just too hot right now. So off to the next place. Let's see where I go. Way. So I've come to a place called Dove Stones. Um, which is near me. Uh, I'll show it on the map. Um, it's a massive lake. I'm above it right now because I'm in the higher up car park. And the moors are that way, so people love to just go like rallying around in their cars and stuff. It's great. So, but as you can see, it's very misty up here and pretty cowed. So, I'm going to go and find myself a spot to eat this and then have a walk. Why not? Yeah. Okay, so I was definitely not supposed to be here because this didn't used to be here. I think uh, they're doing the car park up and uh, well, yep, there's a bolt on that gate. <sighs> so I'm just gonna jump this gate. I like this car park though, you don't have to pay for it and, and it's, you know, cheaper. So I'm gonna film it just in case I fall over and then, you know, everyone can laugh at me falling over. Most important, don't drop the pies. Now it's time to find a quiet spot where I can stuff my face. Look at all these trees and shit. Such nature, such outdoors. See, this is better than other people's 10,000 calorie challenges. They just uh, eat in front of the camera. You know me, I'm taking you to all the hot spots, all the best places in the world, you know. Misty, cloudy forests where people come to die. And get murdered. Um, I'm on my own. If this never get, makes it out, at least I tried the 10,000 car challenge. That's what matters. Oh, actually, that's quite a nice view. So I just got off the phone with my friend after I ate my Greg's in such a scenic and lovely place. And he's now back at home. So I'm gonna go there and we're gonna go and walk his dog. So instead of walking around here on my own, I get to walk around with the doggo. Oh, I've got food on my face. Sorry, sorry, I shouldn't do that. Yeah. People might throw up watching this. But yeah, 10,000 calorie challenge, just over halfway, feeling very confident, not feeling like it's that difficult if I'm completely honest because you know I'm only halfway there really so halfway around a marathon you're probably thinking ah this is gonna be easy and then the next half is the worst bit so let's go see this doggo so I've come to my mate Dom's house and guess what he did with his car he broke it we went did a bit of off-roading uh, with his Range Rover that he just fixed and then he broke it but look it's a doggo! Hello doggo! Hehehe <laughs> oh, he's so cute! He's so cute! 
<laughs> ah, ah, you can't get me because of your cone. <laughs> oh, where's your ball? Where are we going, Dom? Huh? Where are we going? Don't know. Don't know. Where Just go going? for a walk. Well, it's too dark to film, so you just have to trust me that I've gone for a walk. So, come on, dog, with cone of shame, let us go for a walk. Whew. Back from the walk. Gonna have this cup of tea. Obviously, it doesn't add to the calories, but I need a cup of tea. Dom's gonna have a shower. I'm gonna go home, get changed, and then we're gonna go to the next meal. So I'm back home, I've got changed back into my fat wars t-shirt and then we're going to go out and get some more food, so meal number three. So we made it to Weatherspoons, very British place and we're going to have food. deviating from the plan and I'm getting a warm chocolate fudge cake which is 900 12 calories we're all feeling very fat and we don't care we're going to enjoy ourselves so we're going to order that and then I'm only a thousand calories off So, I'm on 9,000 calories, that means 1,000 calories left, obviously. It's quick maths. <laughs> it's 10 past 10, so 1,000 more calories, so I could eat four of these mince pies, or I can have two and then have some brandy cream with them. So I just need 150 ml of brandy cream and two mince pies, and I'm done, and that's it. 10,000 calories done. Yeah, right, let's, let's prepare it. Let's get it all prepared. 
So, the final meal. I'm actually feeling okay. Like, I've had a couple of parts of the day where I felt kind of weird. Now, I know so can't, calories can't come from liquids, and cream is a liquid, but this is extra thick cream. It's not going to drip off that spoon. That's not a liquid. That's solid. Solid calories. That. This is a thousand calories. 262 calories for a mint pie. For 120 mil, I have to put 130 mil on here, but on my fitness pal it's 120. So I can add some more calories. Anyway, uh, for 120 mil, is like 500 calories. This little bit, 10,000 calories is done after this little bit. I'm gonna have to do so much cardio tomorrow. Mm, I don't know how much I weigh. I weighed myself this morning. I wonder, I wonder how much I've put on. Imagine I've not put on anything, that'd be amazing. No, it's definitely not that. 10 pounds maybe? Maybe. I'm gonna say between six and 10 pounds. Well, here it is. 10,000 calories. That was. Oh, I did it. I did it. I did it. I'm going to die. Uh, I actually did it in 12 hours. I haven't had my advent calendar chocolate today. I've done my 10,000 cal calorie challenge, but I can't not have my advent calendar chocolate. I am a 28 year old man and I have no shame. Where's number two? There it is. Oh. Mmm. Saw this film the other day. I give it 9 out of 10. We're dead. After thinking about it a bit more, I might give it an eight and a half, maybe an eight. Definitely worth a watch. Mmm. Chocolate's nice. No, I feel okay actually. I feel earlier I felt a bit weird, but right now. Maybe I should do this again. Comment below if you think I should do another challenge like this. Um, and comment below like what foods you'd like. This one I tried to make it Christmas themed. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have made it all the way to the end to see if I did it, then thank you so much for watching. Please like, uh, subscribe. Uh, the Just Giving page for, for uh, my page, I know I made it to my 250 pounds, but any anything that you can give will obviously be going straight to Chromes and Colitis. Um, it's a great charity. Um, and the page will be linked below as well if you want to go and root around there. If you have colitis, even if you're from a different country, go on their website. It has so much information. That information is obviously to anyone with Crohn's colitis. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't need to be from the UK. So, yeah. 
I did it. I did it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye.